I'm back. Oh my god. Hello. Uh, <laughs> you were I, too... uh, I, had, I had to take care of something. That should be all I have to take care of, though. You returned just as we enter chapter two. Chapter nine. <laughs> that is not the number I said, sir. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Hi. Oh man, I found a shadow Pokemon. <gasps> Yay. It's one of your favorites, Mistrevis. <gasps> How good is that timing? <laughs> Uh, I don't even know. It was random. Uh, well, I returned. I I have refilled my water bottle, and I have Thin Mints. Okay. Night. Oh, you mean the cookies? Yeah. I ate half a box last night. Oh my god, you have Thin Mints too? Not. Yeah, I did. Oh my god. I won't run. I knew he wasn't being serious, but I couldn't stand to keep my mouth shut. Because it's fucking Okita! I lie- I- I lie prostrate before him. What? If and well protected. On the other hand... On the other hand, there's a... BOT! <laughs> there's a BOT! <laughs> yeah, there's a BOT in the chat! Oh. Yeah. Let's see. Hold on. Whoops. Go back. Oh god. <laughs> what should I do? Well, the guide says. Okita's eyes twinkled and he smiled voraciously? Yes. <laughs> uh, vor voraciously? Voraciously? Velociraptor? <laughs> uh, and I could sense some relax. Oh, Gillen Festival. Fuck. I don't remember this event. I only remember this event in one episode of the anime, but that's it. <laughs> I do not remember this in the storyline. Oh boy. It has been a while since I played this one though. I'm looking for someone. He's in his 40s and speaks with an Edo accent. He's a doctor and he's a friendly bald man. I feel like a bald man would be very fucking common. A bald man. <laughs> a bald man suddenly appears. What is a bald man? Oh god. <laughs> Did the Castlevania thing? Oh. I pause for a moment. A strange man was inviting me into his store. That's not a good sentence. He gave a small uncornered shrug. Oh, unconcerned. I read uncorded. What? He gave a small unconcerned shrug and leapt through the door of the shop. Okita, what the fuck are you doing? It didn't seem Nagakura was going to let Okita get away without rubbing his mistake in his face. Nah. Dessert! Both Kai Shimada and Susumu Yamazaki served as Shinsugumi officers and spies under Hijikata. Aside from the captains who stay in the Yagi residence, they are some of the few people entrusted with the knowledge of my situation. In other words, these men are highly valued officers within the organization. <laughs> Sanan is pissed. He's he's the person that gets pissed, but very fucking quietly. Hour of the dog. That's an hour, all right. ただでも頻繁に行けたよ使ったし。だからって古田が捕まった晩にわざわざ普段と同じ場所で集まるか？普通は場所を変えるだろう。常識的に考えて。My brain can't sort out is it Ikeda or Ikedaya because I've heard yeah. both now. <laughs> yeah. the inc the, this event is called the Ikedaya incident. But I'm hearing both Ikeda and Ikedaya and I am not sure. 
Heisuke frowned, and Takeda, who was on standby behind Heisuke, nodded in agreement. Fuck, I thought we wouldn't get to see him again, but he's here! Now look, Takeda actually doing something. Yeah. <laughs> His declaration was read with a cacophony of yells and screams erupting out from out of the inn. <laughs> それがうちりの定石ってもんだ。自分をわざわざ不利な状況に追い込むのが心発さんの言う定石。Hisuke and Nagakura grinned at one another as they sauntered towards the inn. およ、改めてやる。手向かいすれば容赦なく切り捨てる。Perhaps if I could fight, I could rescue the wounded, find them and carry them out of the inn. I made up my mind, steeled myself and ran inside. Inside, it was pitch dark, pitch black. The smell of blood hit me in the stomach like a fist filling the air. There were dark lumps on the floor everywhere, the bodies of fallen men. Where were Okita and Heske? It had sounded like a good idea at the time, but as I looked around the Charno house, I realized there was no way I could carry two men outside. What should I do? Guide says to scope things out! Hmm. If I wander aimlessly in the darkness of the Ikidai Inn, I'm only going to become a nuisance. I should scope things out. I looked around the inn. Out of the darkness, a ronin appeared, his sword at the ready and headed straight for me. Ah! As his sword swept down, another imposed itself between us, Nagakura's blade. The ronin gurgled wetly as Nagakura drove his sword deep into the man's stomach. Blood exploded everywhere. I did not need the image of exploding blood, game! <laughs> I felt my throat suddenly rise. So much blood. Come <laughs> I wanted to help, but I was focused on his hand. Nagakura, your hand! His left hand was drenched in bright crimson blood, as if the hand was simply gone. He looks awful! Nagakura glanced down at it and laughed. Hmm? I... Guide says, I go upstairs. Oh my god, something I've never selected before. Without a second thought, I opened the nearest sliding door and ran in the room. Was this what battle was like? The grim reality sunk into me and I shivered at the thought. The adrenaline from earlier was slowing. I was alone and very much afraid for my life. This room too seemed to be only untouched, seemed to be the only untouched reprieve from the stench of fresh blood. I calmed my ragged breath and I took a keen look around my surroundings. A figure sat on the windowsill, staring out calmly to the night sky as he talked plainly to me. 
He wore no uniform and bore no familiar familiarity to me. Was he one of the Ronin staying at the Ikidai Inn? What was he doing up here? This man appeared to have taken no part in the battle, basking in the bright moonlight as, as if he were above the fighting. I couldn't peel my eyes away from him. His aura was peculiar, but I was soothed by the coolness and sol solemnity of his demeanor. Um, who are you? God damn it, man! Why are your why is your voice so low? <laughs> There's a lot of problems with mixing in this game. Uh. Yeah, this character has a very low voice. There's another character that also speaks low, and another character that also speaks low. <laughs> yeah. I can't. I. Uh. <laughs> so if the voices are too loud, it's because there are three characters that are the problem. He picked up on this, smirking discreetly. Um, thank you. Did he just call me a bitch? Wait, what? <laughs> he just called me a bitch! Oh my god. <laughs> You're right. Uh... He was mocking the Shinsengumi and me, but even still, I couldn't bring myself to argue against what he was saying. Oh, so we are aware of this fact! Okay! Yeah. Hishikata showed up suddenly, as if he telepathically knew I was speaking to someone. God damn it, man! Before I could finish my sentence, the man ran towards Hishikata. Ah, yes, please, just run past me, why don't you? Oh, yeah, Toshi-san! Hachiro desu! お久しぶりです。おめえは八郎か。なんだってこんなところにいるんだ。いいえ。江戸じゃ泣く子も黙る新選組と言ったらとても有名なんですよ。それに池田屋の話も聞いています。皆さんとてもご活躍だったみたい
embellishments. Oh my god. By the way, I have a guide, if you didn't know. A guide? Yeah. Because you very easily could go to another route than you think. Oh, so you need to follow the guide. <laughs> yeah, see, here's the thing. This game originally had six routes, and then they added six more. Oh, so, so a lot of the routes you have to pick a lot of the same stuff until it diverges further. Oh my god. Yeah, so if you pick something, you could easily go to one route than another. Or you get the ending that picks nobody. Oh Jesus Christ. Yeah, that that was my first <laughs> ending. The ending that picked nobody. It was Chizuru's ending. Most of the men in the Shinsengumi were imitated. Intimidating. Not imitating, imi intimidating. <laughs> God. <laughs> Death dealing titans, but Harada was a rare exception. Warm and friendly. There was something contagious about his optimism because it's Nagakura. He's he's, he's optimism times a hundred. I. The guide says. <laughs> Okita took a sip of his tea, and a mild grimace flickered across his face. Um... Is something wrong with the tea? Oh, yeah, that's right. God damn, that was loud. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah! <laughs> okay, that was unexpected. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah this, this. Fuck. Yeah, <laughs> this game has a problem with mixing. Oh, jeez. Yeah, there are a couple of characters that speak very, very low. So you, you'd have to raise the, the voice volume up. But then there are clips and sound effects that are very fucking loud. <laughs> Hijikata, however, was the lone exception. Look at the grumpy face he has on. It's clear. Angie. Angie. He is mostly angry. As Hijikata re rebuked the men, the warriors all scattered sequentially out. Se sequentially? Ah, fuck. To their stations. Fuck words. Hey, Shuke, why are you calling your commanding chief a wuss? I have cookie in my mouth. I have a cookie. I have a cookie. <laughs> I'm eating it. Is it the one from the Girl Scouts? Uh, yeah. Thin mints! Yeah. Sandansocha. Sorewa. Kanojoga mewa ku kakenakreba. Doko kyoka surutu yu imi no hatsugen deska. Saito found the loophole. I blinked. Saito? Standing up for me? Because he found a whole fucking loophole? Sanan seemed nearly as surprised as I was. I mean, look at that face. Saito is the example of a very low voice. Saito's suggestion to Kondo was rudely interrupted by Takeda. Ah, he's here again. Hi, Harada. Hi, Harada. Harada, the ladies' man. The break of dawn burned my eyes as I heard it. A cannon? You did not tell Hichikata to ever stop. Another laugh ran through the soldiers, and Kondo's mouth twisted into a a war sort of grin. Weir, rire. I don't know how to say that word properly. To be fair. Oh my god. Do you know? Uh, work? Uh, Wire? Work? 
I don't know. I would just say reek. <laughs> I don't think that's correct. But okay. Reek. <laughs> uh, Another laugh went through the soldiers and the candles were twisted into a re sort of crack. <laughs> The question, yeah. the question was, where would I go? Well, let's consult the guide! Oh, hello, one of the characters that has a problem with mixing because his voice is so damn low! Ah, the angry eyes are back. Oh, wait, how fucking tall is, is he? Eh? <laughs> I know Hijikata is 5'9". I know that. I don't know how tall this person is, though. Oh my god. Hishikata's smile was anything but warm. Ah oh, yes, big words from a small man. Hishikata is 5'9! I get that he's just repeating words back to him, which is fine, but still. When I saw him about to pounce, I couldn't help but scream. The guide says! <laughs> Since there was a distance between Hishikata and himself, the man toward Turn towards Nagakura. Uh, guide says. Woo! <laughs> something I haven't picked before. Hold my place. I laid my hand on the handle of my sword. Next thing I knew, a high pitched clang of metal clashed resoundingly, and I was on the floor. I was blindsided by the hit, and when my eyes were back into focus, I saw his blade pointed towards me, and blood trickled down my face. Absolutely not a frightening sight! Why is your voice so damn low? <laughs> Always love it when somebody has to say Kisama. I would like to point out that main character is being uh, called Kid. They're like 20. Oh, <laughs> Well, they're young, but still Kid. <laughs> I mean, they called another captain the same. Because they're also like around 20. Like, oh, like, the group is from like age 19, 20 to 30 ish. At least from the main characters in the group. No, oh, like. Yeah. I did research! <laughs> Can you tell? That's what we found Kazuma! By the way, he was nef left l nameless until now. It's the best thing since, since life itself. I thought you were gonna say sliced bread, but okay! <laughs> Chikage Kazuma's status has been released! <laughs> Thanks, game. <laughs> Don't know what that means! His eye eyebrows fur furrowed. Furrowed! In concern. Hey. The guide says. <laughs> Right. I'm ready. Uh, yes. It was mostly for self-defense, but I did receive instructions in fighting with a Kodachi. Okay. Bamboo stick in hand. Why is the- <laughs> why this music in particular, Jesus Christ? <laughs> it's so intense, but I suppose that's what they're going for. Bamboo stick in hand, I moved to the familiar stance that I memorized during my training. Like a whip, his harsh words stung as he barked. Okay. <laughs> Okay. 
He hit me with the full brunt of his stringent teaching. I could see he was taking this seriously. He wasn't going easy on me because I was a girl. Oh. Shades of red and purple. Suddenly in the real world again, fatigue slammed into me and I collapsed to my knees. Kondo glanced over at me when I fell to the ground, and his strict teaching expression immediately switched to one of deep concern. Kondo is dad! <laughs> Kondo is our new dad! If I had been born and raised near me, boom. Would I have met all of them under different, better circumstances? That needs to be a spin-off, damn it! <laughs> I want to see that! I want to see that! <laughs> and we made it to chapter 3. Oh my god. I gotta put a pause there! Where's the How button? You mean... Oh, Jesus, almost five hours. Uh, the chapters are long, did you know that? Especially nope. when you have to voice act them. Save. <laughs> oh my fucking god. It's... Look at all these files! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah. You go on number 14. <laughs> you go on number 14.